Radio now I'm sleeping hope in life oh. Hey guys and welcome back to Royal Purpose Um, Today we're doing a hair tutorial Today we're going to be doing a dye on my sister's hair So she already have this part in like sections Because she's tender headed So she don't like when I comb her hair so we're basically going to do the ends and we basically going to put the bleach on the ends and then we're going to put a treatment put a color and call it a day so stay tuned but before i go please like subscribe leave a comment ring that notification bell and guess what share the video share the video for me please Okay guys, so we're back and you know what we're doing already? We're basically bleaching the end of the hair. So we put on our safety equipment, safety gloves, everything ready. And now we're going to mix the dye. I mean mix the bleach. So we're using the quick blue and we're using the volume 10. So we put in the container. And then we mix it. You can add more volume 10 as you go. As you mix it, if it's too thick, add more. If it's too too watery, add more blue. But just take your time so that way you don't waste your product. And we're aiming for like a bright orangey red color. So have patience with us. While I'm bleaching, I'm gonna tell you the first time I bleached my hair, I bleached it blonde. I was working in the salon in um New York City and decided to bleach my hair. Why? I don't know. Decided to do it myself. Never bleached before, but you know, I was getting customers that wanted bleach and I couldn't do it. So I said, Well, let me try and do it on myself. Oh, girl. After a week or two of the bleach, my whole hair fell out in the front. So, when you're doing dyes and stuff, I recommend you go to the professional or if you do it at home make sure you rinse out all all the um chemical out your hair make sure that you put a treatment on your hair because with um with a dye you have to keep your hair moisturized dry it makes your hair break off if your hair is dry so keep your hair moisturized guys okay now I like I like the way how this is Feeling, so I'm gonna leave it like that. Okay, now we're gonna apply it to the hair. We're just gonna apply it to the ends. Wait, hold on one second, guys. I forgot something. Okay, guys, so my sister hair is natural, it's been natural for a couple years now. This is her first dye job. <laughs> it's, I guess so many years she's been scared for me to do it so. She gave me the test, so now I'm going to take advantage of it, okay? <laughs> so, <laughs> so, let's go. So, first we're going to apply, I'm not going to put it too much up because, like I said, her hair is natural. Don't want to really mess up her hair that much. So, and you know, dye, they have a tendency to break off. So, just going to give her... Just basically to the ends.
like when it takes its time to start breaking down, then instead of when you put it on and automatically start changing, it don't give you enough time to get to the top of your hair before, you know, the color start changing. So I like when it takes its time. I really don't like when you put on the bleach and it automatically start right away. No. Because that means you won't be able to finish your process. You have to stop, do half and half. So you don't have to put that much on it to make it work or for your hair to change color. You just have to have time and patience. Especially if you're doing it for yourself. You know, when we do doing our hair ourselves, we want it to be over quick. We want everything to be done quick because it's, we're doing it ourselves. Our hands are getting tired. We're getting impatient. But no, with a, with a color, please take your time. And know that all things work in time. Don't be rushing nothing, especially not no dye here. Okay? Trust me on that. You don't want to be bored like I was. I'm just doing like this so the sections don't get intertwined to each other. And then we, when we're finished, we're going to leave it on for like maybe 15 to 20 minutes the most. Just enough for it to change color, get to a nice bright blonde that when we put our color on it, we're not trying to bleach it all the way like platinum blonde. We just want it enough so when we put the color, you'll be able to see it, you know. So maybe like a nice light brown. We're not really going for blonde, guys. Because the color we have, oh, it's so bright already. We don't need it to be brighter. So. And as you can see, the hair is already changing.
go back to the back. Turn it I want to put a little heat on this. Okay. I'm just going to put some foil. So we only put the foil on this to give it a little heat, and the heat's going to make it react and come a little bit faster. Okay, so we're gonna leave this on for 20 minutes and then we go for the and check. But well, we're gonna check it out 10 minutes. But we want to leave it on for 20, okay? So yeah. So that's it for right now. We put the we mix the package, the quick blue, the volume 10. We mix it together. We got like a creamy mixture. Then we had the hair already section off. So each section we put the bleach at the end. 
we did it all the way up to the top then I came back and I put the floor paper on it just to act to activate the heat and make the hair color change faster so we'll be back in the next 20 minutes okay guys so as you see we're testing it this is a 10 minute mark and you can see the color is changing so we're going to just leave it for another 10 minutes and then that's it so see you again okay guys these are the colors that i'm putting in now you see this orange is a bright orange. I actually seen one of the customers in um the hair salon, the hair store that we I went to to get the guy is Sally's, and the color in his hair was so bright and pretty. So I got me a little cherry cola because you know cherry cola make anything good. So I'm gonna throw out some of this and we're gonna mix it to get our desired color that we want. Can you see that? See how bright it is. Okay, and then I'll put a little cherry color. Now look. What's this? You see, you like this color? Oh, you wanted more orange. You just say it. Whatever you think looks good. And this is the color. Beautiful. What time is it? One second. Okay, guys. Now this is the finished result before we wash out the, the bleach out of the hair. Can you see? Can you see it? Okay, we back. Okay guys, so now we already washed it and you, can you see the color? It look a little bit brighter on your screen, but it's more reddish brown to me. But on the screen it look blonde. So now we're gonna treat it. So we're gonna go from the roots to, to, to the end. Roots to the end, roots. To the end. Roots to the end. Can you see? Work our way from the roots all the way to the end. Know what your hair is living, you know, because it grows, it breaks, and everything. You just gotta, you just gotta let it know, I love you, thank you, thank you, I love you, you know. Same way you treat your body, you treat your hair. 
It's a part of you. So you let them know you need it. Thank you for growing. Thank you for being a part of me. Thank you for making me the better me. Because you know sometimes you don't have your hair done. You don't feel like yourself. I don't know. Why is that? But let your hair be done. Oh, girl. Be feeling like a million bucks. So just say thank you. Thank you for doing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's it. And now we're going to go over it again. So we put two kinds of treatments in her hair. We put a deep mass treatment. That's from the roots, from the roots to the to the ends. And then we put a next one all over. It's a moisturizing treatment also. Now why I say moisturizing treatment is because the dye sucks the oil out your hair, guys. So you have to keep it moisturized. Okay? So when you have a dye in here, you got to at least give yourself a hot oil treatment at least every two weeks. It's, if, especially if you want to keep your hair. Especially if you have dye from your roots all the way up, make sure you keep your hair well oiled. Okay. And now we're just going to put a little bit of condition on it and we're going to put a cap on it. And then we... After we rinse it, we come back and I'll show you show you applying the dye. And then that's it, guys. So stay tuned. Okay, guys. So now we rinsed out majority of the, the um, conditioner, the treatment. And you now you can see the color. And we're going to add the... Okay, let's go. <laughs> So you ready? Can't go back again. Do it two times. You know that's the end, my friend. Giving you all of me. So I'm basically taking the brush and then applying the color. You don't have to do this. You could take it, the color in your hand and just rub it all over it. But like I said, I do stuff. I like to feel at peace and this makes me feel at peace and relaxes me. So I might take a little bit longer in your hair <laughs> than most people. That's because I like to take my time sometimes. Make sure the color saturate through the hair.
Well, let's get it. You know, no, no, no. So I'm just going to take some of this and rub over it. Can you see that? Yay. I don't know if you guys are seeing the colors of this. And that's it, guys. So now we're going to let this sit again for another maybe 30 minutes. And then rinse it out, condition it. Um, I don't know what she's going to do to style it, but I'll show you after we rinse it and condition it. Very nice colors, like fiery, like red, orangey. It's very nice. I can't wait till it's dry. Ooh, let me see if I can pop it. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Be back.